Okay, this is another song I wrote. It's uh, my most recent completed song. <laughs> <laughs> today but then you played it the last seminar the last here, right and um but the song you played that time was really dark what was that song placing light of god yeah it was just like really really super dark so this is a little lighter than the last one uh, which was good. <laughs> a little freaky but um i think that i think initially like what, what i would do with you like you have this countenance about you that that breeds some sort of an anticipation. Did, yeah. did you feel like that? Like I felt like like when you came up, like I was really anxious to hear what you were gonna sing or what you're gonna do because there's sort of like um, this I don't know this sort of likability, this sort of joyous likability about you, and then you sing like this weird stuff. <laughs> you know? it's just like, you're like God. I'm just not smart enough to get what he's singing. You know, like it's it. You know, it's gonna be hard to be radio hits as far as that goes. But I have a sense that you don't really care about that, <laughs> and, that, and that that's really great. So, with that, there, like I, I, I feel like you could be like this. Like, um, wish I could uh, find an artist. Maybe to compare you to, but like, um, Alanis Morissette. yeah, Alanis Morissette, yeah, like, or or like in the Christmas, like Derek Webb, yeah, you know, who just does like, it, your following is gonna be different. It's not gonna be the more traditional. Send a song out to radio, tons of people listen to it, and all of a sudden they go to your website and they're your fans. It's gonna be much more of this grassroots groundswell. Oh, did you hear that Ryan guy? He does that one weird song about light or whatever. <laughs> oh, you've got to hear this. And it's the kind of thing where you take your, you know, you take your CD and you give it to your friend. And you say, you've got to hear this song. And then I listen to it the first time and I go, like, what? And so then I listen to it again. And then by the time I've listened to it five times, like, I can't wait to take that CD to my other friend and say, listen to this, you've got to hear this song. And so I want that to be encouragement to you. Like, I feel like you have this thing about you with these kind of, how old are you? Just turned 18. Oh, my wow. goodness. Like, you just have this, this musical stuff that's coming from you that you're not hearing on the radio. It's not as a result of you listening to too much Chris Tomlin that you're able to, <laughs> or horns, you know, that you're doing this. And so I think you keep working on this. I do think that there still is room in your writing to make sure that there's some sort of a, a little hook at some place Especially that we for can, that song, yeah. for, well, for any of the songs, even the last one that, that I heard you sing, that, that there's some sort of little hook that we can grab a hold of. So that there's something that comes back again and again that we, we can grasp a hold of. I just think it'll potentially expand your audience a little bit. But I want to like encourage you to those, to some of those vocal, those intervals that you're seeing in the lines, we're not hearing that stuff, and it's really refreshing. I think that's, that's really cool. And I think for you to continue writing these sorts of songs, making sure that they're still formed in a way that people can understand, and that you're not getting so much information in the songs that we don't know where you're going with it. Yeah. They have a real clear picture of each of these songs and what you're doing. But I think that, that you've got just a cool sort of vibe and look and refreshment about you that we, we're expecting... Jonas Brothers, and we're getting like, you know, Black Sabbath. Or I, think that the, I think that that 
works really yes. well for you. Yes. And I think that you're able to do that those those odd things because you have such a a lighthearted as a joy about you, which is I think is really really refreshing. And so I, I say, make sure those songs are, are still crafted well in the midst of your unusualness and create creativity in those. I think that's really great. Yeah. And um, but boy, just I would just re get a CD, get a CD that's great and has those things. And man, get it out to every underground independent yeah. station yeah. that you can find. And I just feel like there could be a big groundswell of support for your music um, coming from a real different place than our traditional, our traditional um, stuff. What, what, even Christian or, or mainstream as well. I mean, I think that it, some of it really appeals to that as well. Okay. So, good okay. job, Ryan. Good job. Uh -huh. um, as far as the style, whether it would, would be Christian or not, Genre, Christian or alternative, mainstream, whatever. But stylistically, it would be on, you know, you want the, the songs tighter, the right. better writing. But what else are you seeing? Well, I just, I think he's Stylist. a real, all, you know, he's just alternative pop rock, not like rock, like rock band sort of thing. But yeah, like like acoustic, alternative acoustic sort of sort of thing, like a darker, what's it, Gavin? Um, Get the draw. I mean, just a darker, maybe a darker sort of that. I, I feel like it is kind of that Alanis sort of. Where did that? Where do those lyrics and that music come from? It's just something we haven't heard like that. I mean, this is the, some of those things you intervals you've seen are just so different and creative and really cool. I mean, it needs all needs to be really framed still within a you know good songwriting. But I think that for me, I see it as kind of a an underground alternative um, pop rock sort of sort of guy. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Really good. Still having fun?